Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Nady, and welcome back to another Project Object. As you beautiful people know, any tiff you may have, please cast it away because this is a channel of positive energy. Okay? Thank you. Oh my little corn cops, how you doing today? I hope wherever you're at in the world, you're having a marvelous day so far. I myself am doing fabulous. I am up bright and early-ish because I'm so freaking excited to bring this series back. This is old, but maybe some of you have been around long enough to remember the OG. We've applied our entire face with a pink with a vibrator, with an egg. And there are just so many crazy things that I could beat my face with. I mean, I pretty much do it off camera. Why not show you? But what is today's object, you're wondering? Hmm? Hmm? Mmm! Oh yes, we are gonna be applying my whole face of makeup with a tongue. I don't know if y'all remember my Leah Beauty sponge silicone thing. I don't know, it basically looks like a sex toy vibrator thing. And I saw this because Daddy Goss was promoting it on his channel. He made it look beautiful, but in my opinion, it really isn't necessary. I basically paid like 50 or 60 bucks for a silly sponge. This side, however, does really blend out creams beautifully, but also I have not found myself like reaching for for this since reviewing it. Other than maybe for like a good squeeze or two. <gasps> Doing this will never get old. That's basically the whole reason why I'm keeping this. But then I thought, what if we duped this? Because this was like 50 or 60 bucks and you can get two tongues off Amazon for like $10. In fact, these may have only been like five. They actually are kind of fun. Like they're really stretchy and they do look like a tongue. Mmm, so delicious. And best part, it makes the most satisfactory slapping noise. Ugh. Uh. Oh, but it's also really freaking sticky, which this thing kind of is too, but not as bad. So we may end up having to powder my tongues. Never thought we'd say that. I guess since we have two of them, why don't we just try applying a little bit of powder? The fuck is my powder? Okay, I have a tidbit of Laura Mercy Gay here, and I'll put it on a floofy ass brush. I figured this would be better rather than dipping it in like a chicken nugget and honey mustard. Ooh, I feel like a forensic scientist. Here we go. All right. Oh my. Really, 10 years ago, if you asked me, this is not what I thought I'd be doing for my job. And trust me, this is a much better option than what I thought I'd be doing. Okay, that did seem to take away a little bit of the stickiness. Hopefully the foundation just won't suck up that powder and it'll get sticky again. But who are we kidding? Like, this is the first sticky thing I've had on my face today. Honey, you know what channel you're on. Wow, that really does look absolutely disgusting now. And she has a growth on her tongue. It's like she ate something hot. Oh, that is just the worst. When you drink or eat something, it's basically on fire and then your tongue bubbles up and it gets sore for the next week. I mean, there are much worse things in life, but that is in like the top 20 worst things that can happen. I'm pretty sure of it. Either that or getting a paper cut right on your thumb so that every time you go like that, it opens like a Muppet mouth. Oh gosh. Ugh. Okay, well, let's dive right into this. I'm gonna try to apply my whole face with just this, including the eyes, including everything. Like this is all that I have to use. I'm honestly very hopeful because of how wonderful this blended makeup out. Now that this is powdered, this feels the exact same. Not that I'm encouraging people to buy these and use this to apply your makeup. Imagine going to a client's house and you whip this out to put on their cream bronzer. One Yelp star for you. Ooh, we're nice and zoomed in. Okay, but seriously, look at this. Doesn't this look like a real tongue? Mm. Mm-hmm. And then we just go, mm-hmm. Oh, fuck. Mm. Those are fun, and I'm sure totally disgusting from being on the floor, on the table, downstairs, upstairs, everywhere. My dog probably had a hold of it earlier, and now I just had it on my lips. Anyways, I moisturized with my Laura Mercier. I went in with some Laura Mercier under eye cream. I even used my Nimia Cooling Eye Stick. My eyes have been all twitchy lately. I think it's because I got a new phone, and the screen is really hard to look at. For foundation today, I feel like I've mixed these before, and I was really, really impressed. But we're gonna try it again today. I'm gonna mix two NARS foundations. One is the Soft Matte Complexion Foundation in a medium 1.2 and then the Light Reflecting Foundation in, I don't know, some shade. This one is really, really pretty, but it doesn't have that much coverage. And this one isn't the best. It's like way too matte for me, but if you use a little bit, it gives amazing coverage and actually does look pretty fuckable on the skin. I'm just gonna, oh, that is way more yellow than I remember it being, but what the fuck is new? And I have no idea how well this will spread out. So I'm actually gonna take a good bit and then just mix it on this thing. Just just in case we need a little backup. Mix this gal around, give her the old one too. And that is whoa, really tan for me. However, probably still not even nearly as bad as my color match usually is. So we're gonna go with it. And I think I'm gonna start pretty minimally and just go in with this. I don't know, should we use the burnt side of the tongue that's got like a growth? I mean, they both have texture on them and copious amounts of hair. And I'm pretty sure the powder just dissolved because this is really 
sticky again. Ooh, it almost has like a life of its own when you pull it. Okay, but watch this though. See, like it does its own thing. Oh my gosh, she would be very popular at a bar. Anyways, before this dries on my face and plays, let's go ahead and blend this out. Okay, all right. Uh-huh. So the feeling is actually pretty nice. It's kind of cooling. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Holy shit. Holy shit shit. That is actually beautiful. It's super minimal. I'm definitely gonna have to go in with a second layer, but on this side, I think I have a little bit more. So let's see how it actually looks. Oh, I'm gonna have to spread this side over to the other side. Oh my gosh. So just like this guy here, there is literally no waste. And because it kind of has a little bit of texture on it, it's emulating that on the skin. And it just looks like a second skin. Wow. I really applied way too much to just this cheek. So I'm going to try and spread it up here too. We might actually be okay with this amount for the whole face. Which now I feel stupid because I remember that this doesn't soak anything up. Like if I had used a brush, I probably would have to use all this plus that but since this is just spreading the product around and like pressing it into my skin i really don't need that much not to be dramatic but that is doing a beautiful job i'm not sure that it looks as good as it would with a brush however this is doing a pretty good job oh my gosh okay so at first it just is like sitting on top of my skin but then the more that i press it in with this it's just pressing into my skin there are places on my face where this might be a little bit too heavy like on my nose but there's actually still quite a bit of product on the tongue so i think i could probably get my neck with what's left so now I have all of this foundation left that I'm gonna have to waste. Maybe I can put it in a Ziploc. Is that a thing? Can people do that? Also, this sound. Ugh. This is making me sweat, so I had to turn my fan up. I really am sorry if you can hear it, but give me a second to cool off. Otherwise, this is just gonna slide and melt right down my face. Don't know why this is so fun to do. Like, one side sticks to your hand, so it just feels like you're slapping yourself. Which, some days, is what I really need to get me out of bed. Who needs coffee? Just give me a good old slap to the face, and daddy's up. What do we think? I am honestly very surprised at how great this looks. Yes, it is a little bit sickly on certain parts of my face, like on my nose it doesn't look good. I don't know if maybe I needed a better primer right there, but I am also very, very warm from doing that. Probably not the day to be wearing a sweatshirt. But hopefully once I press a little bit of powder onto my face, it'll be more secure. But what the fuck, right? This looks great. So give me a second to go wash my tongue off. She's a little bit dirty. Imagine having a dirty tongue on this channel. All right, my little testy tasters. It just is not doing well with some hot soap and water. It's like the foundation is embedded in the little taste buds. But we will plunge on and work through the cat hair, dog hair, and fuck, what else is on there? Let's go in and do a little bit of concealing and highlighting. I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape in Ultra Creamy. I figured since our face is pretty much getting licked, we may as well have a little bit of creaminess on there. Just seems fitting. Ooh, now that I washed it, this is really, really warm, and that feels kind of good too. <gasps> Oh, heavenly hell, that is very, very pretty. If anyone ever used the Silly Sponge, this is somewhat reminiscent of that, but I actually like this a lot more. One, because it's sticky so I can grip it. And two, I really like the texture that this has versus it just being super smooth. It's almost like this does soak up a little bit of the excess product, which I don't necessarily mind right now. But even though it does soak product up, you're able to take that product and redistribute it elsewhere because it's still there and usable. I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's like it just distributes the perfect amount and collects the rest so that you can put it elsewhere on your face. Are we figuring out some like amazing beauty product right now? I want to see how my face looks after I powder it. But in all honesty, I am shooketh, I am gobsmacked, I'm gagged. But I'm also seeing that I have severe cake face. Like I applied way too much product, which just goes to show that I really rely on other products like my brushes or sponges soaking excess shit up. Which yeah, this does soak up a little bit, but I should have gone in way more sparingly. But now that everything is kind of drying down, even though this has that concealer on it. I'm just gonna take one more final little sweep through my face and press everything into place before we powder. Oh shit, no, we can't powder. We still have contour. For that, I'm gonna go in with my Hank and Henry and... I don't know, should we just like go there, maybe? This is just too freaking weird. Oh my gosh, why don't I do it on this side? I think we have a little bit on there. Let's see. 
Uh, maybe. Yes. <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay, so we have a teeny tiny bit. We might have to layer. Y'all, this is doing such a good job of blending shit. I dare say just as good as this little thing. It's definitely not as easy to use as this was, but like the texture and what it's made out of are pretty much the exact same. I think I want a little bit heavier of a contour, so let's really draw this on. I just want to like bring this down my face, but that defeats the whole purpose of this. We must apply it with this. Fortunately, we have like the perfect sharp edge. So let's build her up right there. Oh, yes. Apply it with that, blend it out with this, and we are Gucci mama. Oh my goodness, and then we can just like take this down the nose and have the perfect nostril contour. This is turning out to be like the most functional project object yet. Like, I would highly consider using this again. And holy tits, this is actually working Perfect. Oh, what the hell? I love this. Just for shits and giggles, I did go in with a line on my face straight from the product. Only because I am like genuinely curious about this. Why is there a big piece of glitter on the tip? Where is there glitter? No, 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 no. Okay, so let's try blending this out. I think I'm gonna use like the sharp end of the tongue just so that I can still maintain somewhat of a line. Uh... So in literally like five seconds, that just blended out. Ah! Y'all, I 10 out of 10 recommend getting these off Amazon or from like your local party store and trying this. This might just be changing my whole makeup game. I am never buying a makeup sponge again. I'm just gonna stock up on these. Like I was joking about using these on clients and fuck, I would. Damn. Now I'm applying the contour to this little part and even that little bit is doing a great job. Like now I can go underneath my jaw. All while having the fabulous sound effect of moist balls hitting a wet thigh. Holy shit, I look bronzed. I look ever so slightly snatched. My skin looks pretty fucking decent. My contour is bangable. Ooh, my under eyes are creasing like fuck though. We need to powder. And now that I'm a little bit more used to playing with the tongue, I'm just gonna dip this shit right in there. And it is back to being super freaking sticky. So a lot of powder actually holds on to it. And let's take this right under there. Ooh, that's a lot, but whatever. Just as long as it helps the under eyes a little bit. <gasps> Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Because I had so much powder on there and because I was able to like really, really smush it underneath my eyes, it actually got rid of all of that creasing. Normally it just dries the hell out of my under eyes when I do that. I'm taking a little bit more, fuck. You know what? Actually, I'm just gonna set my whole face with this. Oh, God damn. This just gets so freaking dirty. Do we see this? Oh, and there's this and that and Oh, nasty. There is more fur on this tongue than there is on my cat. But we're still gonna take this powder and just spread it all over the face. And I'm gonna double up on the nose because that shit was really slipping on there. Hmm. I feel like it sounds like I'm being really rough, but I'm not. I can barely feel it. Or maybe I'm just used to a pink fleshy thing hitting my face. Holy shit. Okay, my skin looks beautiful. It looks airbrushed. It does look a little bit thick and cakey, but not that bad. Oh my gosh, my hands are so filthy. This thing is so dirty. Like I almost want to wear gloves when I'm using it because now there's marks on my drawers, there's marks on my computer, <gasps> there's a mark on my camera where the zoom is. This shit is everywhere. Okay, well, let's just spray my face. <laughs> Giggity. I'm hoping this will help get rid of some of that cakiness. Well, I think my nose might be a lost cause. I don't know what the fuck I did with it. Maybe I'm a little bit greasier than I normally am today. Usually when I get warm, that's like the first spot that my makeup breaks. So I'm just gonna ignore my nose, but the rest of my face honestly looks airbrushed. Nothing is settling too hardcore into my fine lines. That foundation combination is amazing. I do have a little bit less coverage on this side. Like I can see some of the redness, but as far as blending everything out with this, that was magic. I do still think that tongue is almost exactly like this, but this is just so much easier to use. But still, if I like this enough, I'd probably get one of these for foundation, one for concealer, and maybe one for contour. And then because they're two packs, you'd have an extra one, and it's still under like 10 bucks. Like, am I just apeshit crazy? Make sure you turn the video quality all the way up. You should be able to see all of my pores. 
Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Oh, my lips are nasty. Got like rigor mortis crack lips. So for powder products, I'm gonna take this clean tongue that we have and dust a little bit of powder on it so that it's not as sticky. And I'm gonna start, oh shit. I just shoved my nail into my little Jacqueline quad by accident. Well, I'm gonna take a good bit of that and use it as a highlighter right under the eyes. Okay, that's doing a decent job. A lot of times this product or products like it will really, really add a lot of texture to my under eyes, especially when I cake it on like this. However, because I'm pushing that shit right in, it's doing wonderful. It looks as though I just have a natural highlight under there. I'm also gonna take a little bit of this color and this color and kind of press it right on the sides of my nose because I do have a good bit of redness right there. And more often than not, a majority of this does end up dusting away, so I like to let it bake for a second. We'll do just that. Okay, beautimus. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more contour, but this time powder and dip into the ass end of this. And we're basically just gonna do the same exact thing we did before with the cream. Not sure that this powder is gonna blend out quite as easily, but we'll try. Oh, this looks nasty. I feel like my makeup was so pretty and now I look skeletal. But let's tap it out and... Wow, okay. Ignore the forehead. We haven't gotten there yet. Oh my goodness. The powder is blending out just as easily as the cream. Uh... What the... Hell, holy moly. Well, I'm not quite sure what kind of an eye look we're gonna do, but I guess let's start with a cream shadow. We'll go in with this Caviar Stick by Laura Mercier in the shade Raspberry. And I'm just gonna put this right on the little tongue tip. And now that I'm applying this to my eye, I'm realizing I totally did not prime my eyeballs, but they do have a good bit of foundation and concealer on them. So hopefully that'll work. My bad -io on that one, sorry. But with this, I'm gonna try to place it right on the lid and then gently bring it upwards, which that is is not working. You know what? Let's just keep on going with this whole pinky vibe. So I'm gonna dip into my little Natasha Denono mini love palette into this little purple bitch right here. And I'm going to attempt to put this right on the eyelid. Hopefully this will somewhat stick. Yeah, I think it is. I can't tell if I'm starting to look sickly or glam. Usually for me, those both mean the same thing. Once again, we'll plop that right on the eyelid. Ooh, okay. While this does an amazing job at blending out foundations and creams and seemingly powders, I I would not recommend this for eyeshadows. It is just a waste of fucking time. It's not like it's doing a bad job or anything. In fact, it's actually blending it out pretty well, but no better than a brush. But once again, by far, this is like the easiest shit that we've tried on this channel for Project Object. I am loving this. And I think that's probably as much as I'll be able to get on there. So let's move to a different color. Shall we do this deeper shade? I don't really have any other options with this than using the tip and just the tip. So I'm just gonna kind of like stamp this right on the outer corner. It actually fits perfectly into my crease line. Oh my gosh, that blend isn't that terrible. I mean, it's certainly not good, but you'd never know that I applied it with a silicone tongue. <laughs> we'll dab this to the other side. Oh my gosh, this is like so nice to use. Like watch, I just press it inside my little crease and she blends the fuck right out. Oh wait, no, this side's a little bit darker, but no worries because you can use the sticky side to pick up the excess. Shit, y'all, next time I go traveling, I'm just gonna bring one of these. Then let's finish up with a little bit of shimmer. Oh my gosh, that's so sexy on there. And this tongue is almost the perfect shape for like a cut crease. So let me press it right there and oh, I did it. It's not the perfect cut crease, but that is excellent nonetheless. It's like the perfect shape. Oh shit, I'm getting it under there. See, ready? There we go. And Boom! Oh shit, I've totally forgotten to do the lower lash as we've been going. So I have a little bit of that lightest shade and I'm gonna press it right in between the lashes. Maybe something will stick. No, that's not working. We need to go in heavier. I think the juiciness of this tongue is kind of ruining this eyeshadow. It's making it really hard. It's not like this is an expensive palette or anything. Okay, but with that, we're gonna take that and tap it right underneath there. That's actually working. Ish, kind of, somewhat. And then I'm gonna follow that up with the deepest color and I'm gonna press that into the lashes and attempt to smoke it downwards. It's literally just me going like this and hoping for the best. But then with whatever's left, I'm also gonna kind of tap it on the Oh shit, on the outer corner, well I was going to pick some of this up with the sticky side. Eh? That's not terrible. Except now I have to somehow do the exact same thing to this eye. Okay, well now I actually kind of like this eye more. Well, I am just flabbergasted. Oh, and I think we just need a little puppy break. Hi, Ren. How you doing, handsome boy? Mm -hmm. Oh, so damn cute. What a perfect little specimen. I love you. 
Oh my gosh. I think I want to hang and I have no idea how I'm going to do that. But I think maybe if I stretch this side and coat it with a little bit of black shadow, we might be okay. Oh, that's going to be huge. Do I fuck up a good thing? Uh, let's try it. All right, stretching and... Uh... Oh. Well, that's not terrible. Uh... Oh, shit. Oh, me, oh, my. Okay, well, you know, no. Okay, this isn't gonna work. Maybe I can just tap this part out and act like it never happened. Can add a little bit to this side to even shit out. You know what? All that counts is the fact that we tried. I feel like I could use one of these edges. Oh, they're pretty rough. Okay, we're just gonna have to live without a huang for this video. Let's dive straight into blush. I pretty much ruined that other tongue with the black and dark shadows, so I'm switching to the other tongue. And for blush, let's try this Ofra palette. And I think I'm gonna mix these two guys right here. <gasps> oh my, that is very potent. Oh gosh, okay, I'm scared about this. Let's start right there. Oh, okay, we're good. At least so far. Oh shit. Oh, this tongue is just not as easy to handle as the other one. Buh, that's what she said. Holy shit though, that applied that powder magnificently. Ah, uh, do you see? See this? I think that's actually applying it better than it does with my brush. What the hell? Well, the blush looks good, but what are we really here for? The highlighter. So I'm gonna dip into this Uma Butete Coming to America highlighter palette into Shine Through. And I am moister than an oyster waiting for this. Oh, look at that. Okay, this is gonna probably be a little bit overkill, but when has a little bit of extra highlighter hurt anyone? Oh my, that is way too dark for me. And now I have so much of it on my face, shit. But in all honesty, as far as like application goes, this is really good. It did pick up quite a bit, but it's like pressing it into my skin. Oh, that's just way too deep for me. I don't know why it turned darker with this. I think the moisture in this may have deepened it a little bit, so I'm gonna top it off with this Gerard Cosmetics highlighter. This is just a little bit more my skin tone. Oh yeah, there we go, that's a bit better. But I am actually gonna take a little bit more blush. This is the Hank and Henry blush in Opulent and Desire. Damn, you know what? I feel like we were honestly perfect with just the cream products. Still, we don't look that bad. I am gonna apply a little bit of mascara and some falsies. Obviously, I can't apply this with a tongue. Oh, there we go. Lashes always save me. All right, we are at our final step, the lipstick. For that, I'm gonna start with Uma Butete's Fun, fun, I, I can't read this. I do not have my glasses on, but it's this beautiful purple. Look at her. So let's just take this and spread her all along this raw edge. Other than the hair and the glitter and the dirt that's on it, it's clean. Oh, this is sickening. This feels like a crime. But we will take this and mm, hopefully this kind of works. Uh, is it working? I don't have a mirror. I literally can't see. Oh. <gasps> Oh my gosh, it is working. That, and then that, and then boom, instant Cupid's bow. Uh-huh. Well, I'll be damned. I totally didn't think that was gonna work. Uh-huh. I will be the first to admit it. I thought this look was gonna be absolute shit. You know what? Since we're on a fucking roll, let's just do an ombre lip. I'm gonna take this ColourPop in the shape Pinkies Up, and I'm gonna take this on both ends of the tongue tip so that I can just go like this. Mm hmm Oh, wow. Um, 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 um. That's like the perfect lip combo, too. You guys, this is... Ah. I am in awe over the fact that this actually doesn't look that bad. Like, yeah, some of the colors are off. I do have several different blushes and highlighters going on. And even though I didn't add a bronzer, my face is kind of warm in weird areas because of that first highlighter. But also, everything kind of works. Raise your hand if you did not think we'd end up looking like this. Okay, but one thing that is bugging me is this lipstick application because it should be way more poppin'. Like, this is too pretty to look like this. I think since we're at the end of the video, it's not really cheating, right? Okay, hold on. Uh, there we go. Let's take a little bit of the color, huh? Right, a center. Mm, perfect. I didn't think that I would end this video doing this, but if you need a dupe for this guy, check out these tongues. They're so cheap on Amazon. I'm not trying to take money away from them, but now I totally understand this even more. This is way easier to use than those tongues, but literally the exact same concept. I can't believe how good my foundation looks, how easily those creams blended out, how marvelously the powders blended out. I can't believe it. So anyways, let me know down in the comments below what other objects 
outfits I should use. I am literally down for anything as long as it won't get me demonetized. But otherwise, just thank you for being here. This was a blast and I love having you. If you'd like to support me and my channel just a little bit more, please head over to my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash poplux. You get videos a day early, you get Patreon only content, and best part, it is cheap, fun, and fancy just like me. And like always, please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell down below so that you're notified anytime I upload new video. Don't forget my newest collection of highlighters, including Black Ice, which does change from black to white, will be available again soon at poplux.com. Also, my latest album, Kiss of Fame, is available everywhere in line that music is sold. Thank you so much to everyone who's supporting them. Comment down below, let me know what you thought of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at official and you can follow me online at thepoplux.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye.